PAA, the Golden Oro, what Golden Solomon Maduro. Okay. And this is fifty on it. I think the the they made the zero like a medallion or some sort. Let's and see, see if this thing turns to go for Oro. I think it's very standard. They just put like two or three bands together, kind of thing. Two bands together, put an extra Oro thing here. Talking very loud. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Every single day. Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. And today is gonna be a double cigar review again. And it's the LFD TAA, the Golden Oro, what Golden Solomon Maduro. Okay, and obviously, double review. It will be me and smoke one if you have one. So hopefully, he smokes this one because I had I had to review it and then basically record it. We're gonna do a double review and we're not gonna do a double review kind of thing. So if you see the me said not double review, well, he forgot. If you see this video, well, he did remember to go to, to smoke it. So let's go. Cutter, where's my cutter? There you go. It's woodsy and a little bit of. I don't know, you cut up a little bit of plumminess. And when I say plum, it would be like a dry plum kind of smell. Okay, now let me cut it. Obviously, the drawers are going to be that shit right now because it's. Um, Kind of close foot. So I go straight to the big guy. Get this lit up pretty quickly. Okay. Initial draw is sweet sweet and then woodsy damp musty Crackers, coffee, and a little bit of like bitterness from like dirt or mineral. Okay. Now obviously, I had to touch it up because obviously that burn wasn't that well. Let's touch it up. A little bit of after hint of some sort of oh, cinnamon or something, but I don't taste any pepper or anything like that. Yep. It doesn't it doesn't have that pepper burn. Oh well, maybe a little bit, very slowly coming up. The cake tastes like coffee. But like charred dog roasted coffee. 
And with that sweetness, it's kind of weird because there is some sort of sweetness in there that I wanted to call it a sweetened cap, but it's not there for long. So it cannot be a sweetened cap. It's going to be some sort of natural uh, flavor to it because it's not everywhere. It doesn't linger. It's just there. So let me smoke one third. I'll come right back. We'll talk about it. All right. I, uh, about one third of the way through. Can't hear me. So here we go. About one third of the way through. Holy shit. Um, what I get is mostly like a... It was burning funny. And because it was burning funny, I think I was getting like, you know, like an incomplete flavor. I was getting some like watered down leaf or a damp leaf. Now, when I say that, it's not the same as like a sourness to that, that mustiness. It's like a leaf that's wet. That's what it tastes like. And then I get a little bit of coffee. Let me take one more puff. Coffee, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of cedar. And that's what I'm getting for the first third. Now, the draw is giving me a little issue. I'm trying to massage it. You know, if you listen to our podcast, massage, give the full thing, happy ending, everything. So, you know, I'm massaging a little bit. Hopefully it gets better, but it's still burning, even though it's burnt wonky. So we'll see. Once you get to this this band, I will consider that as two third. And uh, we'll come back and we'll talk about it. See if the flavor got better. But I do also feel this like a few huge stamp right here. It's right down this line. But there's no way I can fix it. So it is what it is. Be right back. All right. I'm at two third of the way. I don't know what I feel about this thing because like now it starts to kind of explode a little bit. You see that? Kind of just a little bit, not a lot, not a lot, but the burn is not perfect for me. The The taste still tastes watered down unless you retro hill. And if you retro hill, it gets a little bit better, but not that much better. I just don't know what I, what I think about this cigar. Uh, I don't know if I think it's bad or think it's good, but $25 cigar MSRP, I believe I said right now, this thing is probably at 16 Probably at sixteen dollars a cigar. I don't know. It's just not that impressive. But here's that band. So this is fifty on it. I think the the they made the zero like a medallion of some sort. It says fiftieth anniversary. Anniversary, very tiny words right there. Anniversary, and it has the dots and texture and everything. So, yep. That's what we have right now. And yeah, like I say, I'm not very impressed with the taste of the cigar. At first it tastes pretty good. And then now it just tastes watered down. And uh, and when I say watered down, it's not like lighter. I'm saying watered down is like you have a full flavor, but it tastes like somebody add water to it. It's just not that good. I don't know. So yeah, let me go through the last third and see if this thing turns to go or oro. All right, I am done here. This cigar just kind of exploded like nobody's business. So yeah, it's, it, I don't know. It never got better. It never got better. The band, I think it's very standard. They just put like two or three bands together kind of thing. Two bands together, put an extra oral thing here to make it special. It's very, I think it's still very uh, st stereotypical of LFD band. So I would have rather they make something like Andalusian kind of uh, uh, Andalusian bowl kind of band because it's like very eye catching. But this one is just standard. So I, I, I don't. Yeah, I'm not impressed with this band. I mean, it does look cool with this 50 band, but it's still like I, I, I just not. And I'm not impressed with the, the flavor, too. It just gets worse as it goes. It didn't get better. So. Now it's dropped to a $15 cigar. Um, the strength is about medium. I, I want to say medium plus, but it could be because the the draw and the taste is so bad. It kind of made me feel like stronger than what it is. So I, 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 it, technically, this should be somewhere in the medium. And unfortunately, it didn't do good. Or it didn't give me the flavor consistency with that. When I first laid it up, it kind of tastes pretty good. And they just feel watered down the whole way after that. It did not get better. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know why this is like that. Uh, smoke one if you have one. 
smoked the natural one and said he liked it, but somehow this one disappointed me. So I'm kind of surprised. And maybe it's just a cigar, maybe not. But yeah, for me, $15 range is only because it's limited edition and it is a big gauge cigar. It's quite a bit of tobacco you're getting. So that's why I feel like maybe it will be somewhere in the $15 range. So with that being said, that's it for this cigar review. Not much to say. Disappointed at most. And, um, you know, maybe the review from Smoke One, if you have one, will be better. Aaron might like it more than me. So we'll see about that. Why is my voice so low on this thing? I don't understand. Today, the microphone doesn't want to work with me. Well, well, either that, I'm not talking very loud. Talking very loud. Ooh. Yeah, this cigar cannot get me excited. I'm not excited. So... Unfortunately, that's the case. So if you like the, my reviews, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, and, you know, watch some other my, my reviews and see if you like those, you know, here and there. Comment on those too. Um, and if you think about any other cigar that I haven't reviewed yet that you might want my opinion, put it in the comment. And if I have it, I will go do a review on it. Okay? So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.